How did you first get into dance? Uh, I first started dancing when I was at secondary school and my first dance class was part of PE and everyone had to do it at the school um, and after the class the teacher said that she was running an after school dance class so I thought I'd go along to it and it was me and about 50 girls and then, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I started doing some Saturday classes and then from there just built up doing more like, youth companies and stuff like that. All right. Is that when you realised that you wanted to pursue dance as a career? Um, at first I kind of wanted to do musical theatre, uh, probably until I was about 15, um, when A, I realised I couldn't sing, and <laughs> uh, then I saw, say, saw a performance by Ron Bear, and um, that's what kind of, I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> what sort of qualifications and training have you had to... Um, what, dance ones or yeah, other ones? Dance. Dance ones. So I did um, A level, GCC and A level dance, and then, as well as doing boring subjects, because I was forced to, and I wanted to. And then um, I went on to Learning Contemporary Dance School, and I got a degree there, and that's about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you still interested in getting more training and more experience? To I think you, you're always learning and you're always getting experience every time you work with a different choreographer or you're working with new dancers in the studio, you're always learning from it. Um, and it's never, yeah, I never felt like I've learned everything. And I think you never get to that point. You're always finding new things and um, especially choreography is so personal and it changes as you get older and different experiences. It changes what you make, so you're always learning. Yeah, right. Um, now, you've recently won the New Adventures Choreograph Award, Choreographer Award, and what does that mean to you? What does it mean to me? Well, I cried when I found out. It, was yeah. <laughs> it means a lot. It's um, an incredible opportunity, and just to uh, um, be recognised by Matthew and the panel of judges, um, and to be chosen over a shortlist that was had such amazing people in um, is a real honour and now to have his support and mentoring and the funding as well and the fact that it's going to lead to other funding and support and I mean it's bigger than I could have ever imagined I'd be kind of at this stage of my career so yeah it's mm. amazing. And finally um, what advice would you give to young dancers today? Or choreographers? Um, be, um, if you have a passion for it, um, just be determined and believe that you can do it and make, make opportunities happen. Don't just sit and wait for it to come and land in a plate in front of you because it won't. You have to put yourself out there, go and grab every opportunity you can. Um, make opportunities happen for yourself. Um, like when I was 17, we were in a youth company and the funding all got taken away. And so we decided to run it by ourselves because we like we had to keep this going. So things like that. And being friendly to people, it sounds silly, but um, a lot of the jobs I've done now um, have been through people I met when I was doing youth dance. And just getting on with people then and keeping in contact or just one job I didn't even audition for. I just knew the choreographer and we got on quite well and she was like, I'd like to work with you. And just gave me <laughs> so a lot, yeah, just you know, putting yourself out there, being friendly, talking to people, going, you know, being approachable and just having the determination to stick at it and it's tough, so Yeah. Fact. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. No worries.